Welcome to our series on flamenco guitar. As a prerequisite, um, I would highly encourage that you've studied the basic finger uh, style volume. This is volume 12, which goes over basic finger style technique. And uh, you need to have a general knowledge of scales and uh, open chords and bar chords. So basically, you know, your beginner kind of stuff. Um, so if you haven't studied those things, you really, before you dive into this series, you'll, you'll want to go back and make sure you have a firm grasp on those things. Um, so in this lesson, I just want to talk a little bit about what flamenco is. So flamenco is a very specific style um, that is based, um, based out of Spain, and it, it highly revolves around the art of flamenco dancing. So the, um, the guitar's job in flamenco is mainly to accompany the, the dancers. And the instrumentation typically used in flamenco is guitar and hand claps, and, um, and then you have you know, the, the dancers. So it's, it's kind of uh, minimal as far as instrumentation goes. Um, and um, you can obviously, you can play flamenco even if there's not you know, somebody there to accompany that, that's dancing, it can be a solo thing too, but that's where it originated. So a lot of the patterns and, and, um, and songs, if you will, um, they, they revolve around very specific chord progressions and timing and rhythm patterns. So flamenco um, pieces of music are, comp are, are comprised of things called palos, okay? So the palo is the musical form. It's characterized by chord progression, mode, and rhythm. And um, they can be related to specific geographic locations within Spain as well. So within a palo, you have um, the main thing that, that the piece of music is based off is called a compas. And the compas is the rhythmic structure. And it also can imply a specific chord progression as well. So uh, examples of these would be a, um, a, the Malagueña, Malagueña is, a, is a compas, the rumba, uh, the solieres, and a faruca. These are all examples. There's, there's over 50 different ones. We won't study them all, but we'll study the, uh, the basic ones and the most popular ones. So within that, then, um, you have falsettas, which are uh, little melodic pieces that are based off of that compas and the chord, the established chord progression. And this will all make a little more sense when we actually dive into it. Um, so um, this can, is kind of equivalent to an improvised lick in blues or jazz. So in, in ways flamenco is kind of like jazz, you have a structure a chord progression, and then, then you can kind of improvise off of it. Um, but it stays within the framework of this chord progression in, in rhythmic pattern. Um, and then you also have what the, the last part that, that uh, makes up the palo or the, the whole piece of music is what's called a, a, a copla. And this is kind of a um, a melody too, but it seems like it's more single note, almost like a little solo. So, but it, it definitely still carries a harmonic um, chord progression or structure. So, um, it's very, it's very specific. It's a very specific style, and there's a lot of very specific right hand techniques um, that are very specific to flamenco that we'll be studying. And um, it's very, it's a very cool. It's a very pretty. It's um, it's a very complicated style. So we're going to take it real slow and um, just try to kind of build on the basics. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the difference between flamenco and classical as far as the guitar itself. So what I'm using here, they're, they're essentially the same. The guitar is essentially the same. There, there's no fret markings. So I know that makes it easier when we're teaching to have fret markings, but it, there's just, they don't make them with fret markings typically. So I'll try to be as clear as I can on where, what fret I'm on. Um, but basically, th this is a classical guitar that 
has a, it's basically a pick guard. It's like a plastic covering over the body because there's a lot of uh, what's called golpe, which is where you tap on the, on the body of the guitar to create rhythm or emphasize a, a rhythm or a certain, a certain beat in the measure. So with classical, you typically wouldn't have this. With flamenco guitars, you'll have this, this clear plastic plate. Mine just has it here, because I think it was kind of a classical guitar tried to be converted into a flamenco guitar. Um, but a lot of times you'll see it, it'll be all up through here with a flamenco. The flamenco is made out of a brighter wood, typically, um, because it's, it's very, it's more treble oriented with flamenco, bright sounds, um, real percussive sounding stuff. It's not as full and rich as like a classical guitar would be. And then the body is, is a little thinner sometimes with a flamenco guitar, which would complement that more, that brighter sound. <clears throat> and um, the only other difference really is, you know, with classical you would, you would play like this. With flamenco they, you'd play it more like you'd play rock or blues or a normal kind of guitar. So you just put it over your right leg like this. Um, you're going to be playing back more toward the bridge of the guitar for a brighter sound. You get a much brighter sound back here than you do here, which is where we would be strumming more or picking with classical, right? But back here, it's a little brighter, so you'll see them pick and strum back here more. So that's the basic difference. So um, that's kind of our little intro to flamenco. And uh, so we're going to start with uh, lesson one here.